Hi everyone, this is Terry. A few days ago I recorded a video showing you how to create a decorative fill pattern to replicate a chenille stitch that I've seen in other software programs. I said this is less than perfect and it is because you have to measure the distance to figure out the width for your particular cutter. But the other problem I had is it was sewing the ends of the design. Let me show you as it stitches out. So here's my placement stitch that I created, creating an offset. And then you can see it's stitching at the end of each one of those channels. And I was going to have to pick out those stitches. That was until I recorded a video today. And I went into the sewing attributes and I found this little checkbox here called Minimize Feed. If you notice down in the bottom of that decorative fill pattern, let me turn it back on again. You'll notice one closes the box and then you'll notice that it's open. So now as I stitch this out, you'll see that it will stitch out the placement line. I placed my three layers of fabric down. Now it's stitching those three layers down. And once it finishes with that, and I'll stop right here, move it, advance it to this point, I will take my hoop out of my machine, and while my fabric is still hooped, I'll cut those three top layers of fabric, not the base layer that's hooped with the stabilizer, and I'll trim around this heart. Now, I'll take my chenille tool and cut the channels. So I cut through all of my channels, then I put the hoop back on the machine, and I'll stitch out the remainder of my design. So now with this minimize feed off, all I have to do, and we'll go File New, and I can either digitize a, a, a shape myself, or I can use the shape tool or use the import shapes and choose a different design. In this case, I'll just choose this flower and I'll draw that shape on the screen. So now you see my channels here and you'll notice that I don't have my offset line. All I have to do, first of all, I want to go into millimeters and while that is selected, I'll choose create offset line and I want that offset line to be outward at 0.1 millimeter because I want it basically to be right on that line. And then I need to move that to the top. And then I also want to make sure that my last stitch is running stitch. It needs to be a zigzag. It doesn't have to be. I want it to be a zigzag. And this first stitch is also a running stitch. So Let's just go ahead and run this through. And what you'll see is here's my placement line. It's where this, when it finishes sewing, I'll stop and put my fab, three layers of fabric down on top of my base fabric. And I am using a stabilizer for this as well, a tearaway. Now what I'm doing is I'm sewing through my channels and you'll notice that the ends are open, which is what I need. And we'll just continue this through. Now the next thing that happens is the zigzag stitch. But before I get to that point, I need to trim all of my fabric around my flower as close as I can get using my scissors, but not cutting through the base layer. And then what I'll do is take my chenille tool, run it through the channels, and then I'll stitch out that final stitch. So I hope that this has helped you. It certainly helped me learning that I can turn that off because it will save time. But like I've mentioned in my earlier video, and let me go back and change this to inches, you do need to take the ruler, and let me turn off my stitch simulator, and you need to measure these channels. Because you will have to, because it's a decorative fill stitch, and depending on the shape and that, you'll have to measure it. And you'll see right now that the measurement of this is not quite half inch. So I'll have to go into my sewing attributes when I select this, 
and adjust this each time to make sure that it will work for my tool. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to them and share them with a friend. Thanks and have a great day.